When I'm out fishing, I, I'm really not thinking about anything except for fishing. Like, I'm just, I'm in the zone, so it definitely is uh, nice to get out on the water because you don't really think about anything else. My name's Joe Spence, uh, and I run Blue Rock Charters. Uh, this is the Bay of Quinney, so we're going out of the Deseronto area. The Bay of Quinney spans from Trenton to Belleville to Deseronto, back down to Picton, and then uh, turns into Lake Ontario. Uh, well, I've been fishing since I was a kid, um, so I mean, I've always kind of been into it. I guess I got into it more seriously once I got my first boat. Um, so I got a little 12 foot aluminum boat. Actually, one of my buddies has a cottage right over there and I used to keep it on a shoreline and just toss it in the lake whenever I wanted to go fishing right out in this area. Ever since then, I've been pretty seriously into fishing. I started getting into tournaments at one point, so I pushed a few years and fishing different series. I fished the Rito uh, Lakes Bass Masters. I fished the Thousand Islands Open a couple of times. I didn't enjoy it as much as I liked fun fishing. And that's where the guiding is kind of nice because it's kind of like I'm just fun fishing all the time. So uh, I use the Legend X18 for my guiding trips. A um, few different reasons I chose this specific boat. Um, it's a good size for the body of water that I'm using. Um, one of the main things I liked about the X-18 specifically is it had the big, large rear bench seat back here. That gives me the ability to put two, sometimes even three people on that bench seat if I need to, depending on uh, how many people I have to take out for the day. Usually I do maximum three adults, but I can squeeze a couple of kids in sometimes. So I have a 115 as the main motor, and then I have a 99 Pro Kicker set up for trolling. It lets me get down to lower speeds and lets me keep hours off of the big motor when I'm out lots. When we're trolling, I just set the rods out, planer boards are out, and once this, once this everything's set up, I don't really have to do a whole lot and we just kind of wait for fish to go. And then we'll either do a system where we'll either pick who goes first, if so usually someone's, if it's like somebody's birthday or something, they'll let them take the first rod. Or sometimes what I'll do is we'll let people pick a rod and see which one goes off first, and then they can kind of play that out, rotate after that. So I got crankbaits going out, and I'm gonna set them out about 90 feet. We're in 30 feet of water here, so that'll keep them still from hitting bottom. And then I'm gonna set a planer board on there. That'll let me spread out lines behind the boat. And you can, you can put two, three, four, of those and spread them out behind the boat and they'll form a V so you can put multiple lines out behind the boat. Right here we can only fish one line per person but there are some places where you can fish two lines per person so in those places you can run a lot more lines with less people in the boat. I've got these that are made by Real Crazy Fabrication. They're rod trees so I can put technically eight rods in these. I usually just use the top three though for my trolling rods with planer boards. Um, I got a Helix 7 that I put on the dash and then I have a Garmin 9 inch on the front that has pan optics. I really like the large live well in the front of this one. I've caught some like 40 inch pike and stuff like that that I've put in there. Uh, so it's got lots of space in there for fish. I usually come equipped with a few different options so if you know one particular way we're fishing is slow we might switch it up or change locations or things like that to try and get on some active fish and try and put something in the boat kind of thing. So, I mean, generally we have a pretty good success rate. Usually we're aiming for multiple fish a day kind of thing for sure. You're gonna toss an Eerie Deary out, but with like a worm on it, just to try and get a bite faster. Just cause sometimes it'll be easier to just put a fish in the boat with a live worm on it that way versus uh, the crankbait when I don't have as many lines out. Around here, like there's definitely specific presentations that work really well. So usually it's either crankbaits or something like this, uh, either like an Eerie Deary or like a worm harness kind of thing is super common out here. Actually, it's, uh, it just got a bite that fast. Pretty sure it's gonna be a small walleye. We'll see in a second here though.
small walleye. Just go out and do it for sure. Like grab a rod and just go cast. 